Hey guys, it's Maria from Cloud. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a few little stretches to get your splits really flat. In January at Cloud, we're working on forward and backward splits. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And the number one rule of stretching is repetition. You need to stretch every damn day. So if you get into the habit of stretching every day, even you only need a few minutes. So if you can get into the habit of doing that every day, it'll become second nature and you'll really notice a difference in your stretching and definitely in your splits. So these are exercises that you can do while you wait for the kettle to boil or while you wait for your toast to get brown. So the first one, we're going to stretch um, our hip flexors. You don't have to be super warm, so you don't have to do loads of running or anything before you come into these. These are active stretches. Passive stretching is when you just sit into, say, sitting in a split. Active stretching is when you're using the muscle to form the split or to form whatever stretch you're doing. So the first one, we're going to stretch our hip flexors. So that's this muscle that runs down here. When you're doing splits, it's hamstrings and calves in the forward leg and in the back leg it's all in this hip flexor so we want this to be really stretchy so to start off with we're going to wake it up um, I'm going to stand with one leg in front of the other and I'm going to tuck my hips underneath so think about tucking them down and under I'm really squeezing it's my left hip flexor I'm squeezing my left bum cheek so I'm really trying to tuck it under you won't feel this stretch like you do when you fully go for the splits but you'll feel it start to warm up and you should feel it working um, hold it for about 15 seconds and you should feel after say, the first 5 or 10 seconds you'll feel this starting to work. So I'm just going to hold this for 15 seconds and then we're going to do the other side. So switch legs, tuck your hips underneath and then really squeeze this bum cheek until you feel a stretch in this hip flexor. If you're not feeling it, come a little bit further forward or you can lean back slightly so you feel it in this hip flexor. And then the second exercise we're going to do is, I said before, it's hamstrings and calves. That are stretching when you go forward. A lot of people think, oh, my hamstrings are really tight, but it might actually be your calf muscle that's sort of holding you back here. So we're going to do a calf stretch, same position as before, but this time we're going to lean forward on this leg into a bit of a lunge, keeping this heel on the floor, and then I'll feel it working in my calf there. If you don't feel it, if you're quite stretchy, just come forward a bit more until you really feel that stretch starting to work. And then 15 seconds, switch sides. Make sure we always do both sides, we want splits on both sides. And then the final exercise that you can do from here is for your hamstrings. So all I'm going to do is stretch down to the floor. So I'm trying to reach the floor. So stretching in this position, don't think completely about I've got to reach the floor. It doesn't matter if you're here or here, as long as you're doing the stretch right, it'll be working. So don't think about reaching forward and curving your back. Think about trying to fold in half. I'm pressing my stomach down to the floor. So I might be keeping my chest up, I'm not thinking about curving over, I'm thinking about pressing down to try and fold in half, yeah? And then you'll feel it in your calves and you should feel it in your hamstrings as well. And really press down on this and try and hold this for about 30 seconds. And if you do those stretches every single day, every time you're making a brew, you'll really notice a difference in your stretches. And when people ask me why my splits are so flat, it's because I drink about 15 cups of coffee a day. 